Do you remember that magic shell that you used to pour on top of your ice cream as a kid that's kind of liquidy and then as soon as it hits that cold ice cream, it hardens up? We're gonna make a homemade version today and all you need are two ingredients. What is up you guys, it is Carly here and you're officially cooking with Carly. And like I said before the intro, we're making homemade mac, mac and shell before in the intro we're making magic shells so if you're not familiar let me familiarize you it is something that became popular like in the late 90s early 2000s I'm thinking and it's an ice cream topping there's lots of different flavors like chocolate there's like chocolate crunch or peanut butter and what it is is you pour it onto your ice cream and it hardens like like a shell <laughs> so it's like crackly kind of and it's a topping for your ice cream and I'm pretty sure everybody made the mistake of accidentally storing it in their fridge at one point or another and then it's like garbage you can't even use it anymore I know I did that but to make it you only need two ingredients you need chocolate chips and some coconut oil um, and yes this is a ginormous bag of chocolate chips and I might have three of these in my house it's fine don't worry but you can use whatever kind of chocolate chips you want i'm using milk chocolate that's what we like here if you like dark chocolate be my guest use dark chocolate you can use peanut butter chips like any of the chocolate chip varieties that you want we're going to measure out one cup of chocolate chips brand new one brand spanking new Okay, one cup, so this is a half cup, so I'm measuring out two of them. And then two tablespoons of coconut oil, and you want to measure it while it is in its solid state. So room temperature, as long as your house isn't like super hot, coconut oil will be solid like this, but once it melts, it will be liquid and it'll stay liquid you know for a long time and if your house is really really hot it actually might just be liquid at room temperature I remember when we lived on the East Coast and we didn't have air conditioner my coconut oil was always liquid so you want to measure it when it's in the solid state though because it does change a little bit so two tablespoons is what I'm measuring here into our chocolate so now all we're going to do is pop this in the microwave microwave for 30 seconds at a time stirring in between each 30 seconds until it is smooth and all melted i'm guessing it's going to probably take one minute so we will go for the first 30 seconds and check it out i was going oh i just felt slipped i almost did the splits i did not slide hold on gotta try that again ready Okay. <laughs> While that is in the microwave, oh, I only got 10 seconds left. Hurry, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos, and comment down below and tell me your favorite ice cream topping. All right, we're getting melty here. All right, going back in for another 30 seconds. Ooh, that's good timing. Okay, here we are. Come, come get closer to this. So just stir this until it's all nice and melted. All of your chocolate chips should be melted. And you'll see that it's quite like liquidy. That's because of the coconut oil. And that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Very runny. And guess what? Your magic shell is magically done. That's all you have to do. Um, and now it's ready to serve over top of your ice cream. I'm gonna pull some out so we can show you the magic. But quickly, I just like to store it in like a mason jar and you're going to store it at room temperature. So just like in your pantry or cupboard and eventually it will like solidify again. It'll be the texture of like Nutella kind of. So it'll still be like soft and spreadable, 
but in order to turn it back into that magic shell for the next time you want to eat it, just zap it in the microwave really fast and it will turn right back into liquid. So we've got our ice cream here, got sprinkles because sprinkles make life better. And we have our magic shell. I'm just gonna drizzle this on and you're gonna watch the magic. So now you don't need to go to the store to buy your magic shell. You can just make it in the comfort of your own home. And can I tell you that kids think this stuff is awesome? I mean, I think this stuff is awesome and kids think it is even more awesome than I do. So definitely make it. Next time you have an ice cream party, it'll be the star of the show. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. <laughs> a new spoon right in here for you. Okay, go enjoy. Okay.